Good morning, everybody. No, I'm not going to say that. It's not morning where you're watching necessarily. Hi team, Actus XD. Just a short video today, bit of a Sunday morning coffee kind of chat about two websites I've been using to help in New World. So I thought I would share them and just go through them quickly. I'll leave links to both down below in the description so that you can get to them easily. But the first is this New World Trade Skill Leveling Guide done by Gaming.Tools. It's incredibly easy to use and a simple way to be able to level uh, any of your professions quickly. So if for instance, we decide we want to level armoring, you can see here if we say that we're level 100 and we want to get to level 200 we press update it will tell us exactly what to craft at each step our choices and then down the bottom in the statistics it'll tell us how much it costs to buy the mats um, and then how much you'll get back from either salvaging or selling and then it's giving you a net cost per experience which is very useful the person who makes or the guys i don't know the people the crew the team who make the website um, say that they pull the uh, default ingredient prices off the trading post of their server. But if you want more specificity to your situation, then you can just click this, click here to optimize or customize the ingredient prices and put your own prices in. There's also this option at the top to uh, import prices using the trading, po trading post price extractor. I can't talk this morning. Obviously I need more coffee. Um, and then you can use, install that tool, uh, follow the instructions on the GitHub and um, it'll automatically import all the stuff off your own server's trading post, which is nice and helpful. So whenever I wanna smash out some armoring levels, which I frequently do, then I just come here and I follow exactly what this says. Buy the stuff off the auction house, trading post. Buy the stuff off the trading post. Never heard of World of Warcraft, what are you talking about? And then just can simply level up and there's obviously options for every. So the granularity, the more granularity you've got, the higher the number, it'll give you a more straightforward leveling path. So if we make our granularity here 100, it's just gonna give us some very basic, what's that, four options to get from uh, zero to 200 on the engineering profession. But if we go to a granularity of one, I don't know if this is gonna explode the website, no, not quite, but you see, we get a lot more options and we can decide, well, which of these is the choice that we're going to make at each step. And you can see that the levels are broken down to a more granular level you can also bump up more choices. So it'll show everything, but obviously it's making a decision to exclude some stuff because it's useless. For instance, the net cost per XP for creating gunpowder is 0 0.0097, whereas over here, this is what maths amount of more expensive, 20 times more expensive or something to create the hatchets. So it's probably better to just leave it medium or low. Uh, but yeah, I've been smashing using this website and found it really useful. And then one thing I would say, um, the only money that they make is through uh, showing these non-obtrusive ads down the bottom right. So if you're using an ad blocker, then I'd encourage you to turn it off, which is what I've done so that uh, you can give back to people that are making this really useful content. The other website that I've been smashing is uh, nwbase.info, mostly, or specifically I should say, the gear score tracker, so that when I'm grinding out my gear score, I haven't updated it for a little while, as you might be able to tell, but you can just look at if you've gone and done a big Merc Guard run and you wanna figure out, well, what's my highest high watermark on each piece? You look at what's dropped and you can update and change your um, change the drops here and they'll, they'll save. So for instance, I know that my legs are at I am there at 5.43. I think I've got boots to 5.37 now. So I can just adjust that and then I can keep track and go, okay, well, what are the what are the pieces that I've got low watermarks on and you know how close to having everything at 600, all that kind of thing. You can also uh, make your own notices up the top right if you want to leave notes. Um, I don't know what you'd necessarily say. Maybe uh, remember to subscribe to Actus XD and like the video, um, that kind of thing. Um, so that you just always have that reminder to be doing that. This website has some other useful stuff as well. Um, you can create builds for each weapon um, and what you want to do. So let's just say hi, like, and subscribe. I'm really pushing that. Hey, you can go to the next one and then choose obviously our weapons. You can just choose your, uh, your builds and then save them there for future information. Just a short video today. I wanted to let you guys know about those two handy tools that I've been using. Um, they're not gonna change your life or anything, but they are just sort of nice little things to have on the side. Uh, if you find either of those useful, then let me know how you use them uh, down below in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Please remember to follow the notes advice on the tracker and like and subscribe. Thank you, love you.